Meat Boy is back and today I'm going to show you guys how to prepare bone marrow in a normal way. You know, you guys have seen me scoop it out of the bone and eat it raw in the past, but in a restaurant, if you were going to serve it to your family, this is a pretty traditional recipe from Fergus Henderson, the author of the cookbook, Nose to Tail cooking the whole beast. I believe that's the official title. I think he's the original person who coined the term nose to tail. It's simply bone marrow on toast with a parsley salad and vinaigrette. So let's take a look at what we need. So the main attraction, we have some 100% grass fed marrow bones from Frankie's free range meat. And guys, if you can't get grass fed, bone marrow is where the animal stores a lot of toxins. So since these are high quality, you don't have any of those concerns. That being said, just four femur bones like this is half of the yield of like an 800 pound animal. So this is not something you would eat too frequently, but it, it is very enjoyable. The toast, we have our bread and low and sourdough bread. For that parsley salad, of course, we have organic flat leaf parsley. Everything's organic, guys. Tarragon, capers, shallot, and then the vinaigrette is gonna be composed of olive oil, mustard, and lemon juice. Now, if you want a nice presentation, what you would do is soak these marrow bones in salted water overnight, and then you'd scrape all the meat and stuff off of the bones. But since we don't really care about presentation, this isn't a restaurant, uh, we're just gonna put these on some parchment paper. So we're gonna pop the marrow bones in the oven on 400. We basically just want it to be that soft texture, a little bit of caramelization on top, but be careful because it is fat. It's gonna just start melting on the bones. Toast, guys, very simple. I'm just popping the bread in the toaster. And since this bread is oddly shaped, what you can do is just put it in once and then flip it over for a second time. So here we want to just nicely chop everything and have this light dressed salad that can be put on the toast with the bone marrow. So, you know, we're gonna take the leaves off the parsley. We're gonna dice some shallot very thin. You know, separate the tarragon and dice it, dice up the capers, and once we have that, we'll assemble it. For the parsley, I just take a knife and kind of shave it, and the ends that are green and vibrant and clean will just kind of come off. And then if we want, we can pick some of the stems out when we go in here. Now, you don't have to add tarragon. It's a very French kind of classic herb. I personally don't like it, but uh, you don't have to put too much in. Our fresh tarragon, we're just going to chop it up a little bit maybe two tablespoons of capers here, nice amount. Then we have our organic shallot. If you can't find shallot in the supermarket, then a white onion is okay too. It's a pretty simple theme with all these ingredients, guys. Everything is very bright and vibrant, fresh, acidic, uh, to cut through all of that rich fattiness of the bone marrow. So the prep is done for the veg. We're just gonna flip over our toast, and put it back in. So a vinaigrette is very simply four parts oil to one part acidity, and then it's seasoned with salt and pepper. So we're just gonna squeeze some lemon juice in here, about half a teaspoon of mustard, a few cracks of pepper, nice pinch of salt. So then we're gonna eyeball four parts oil to this one part of lemon juice. And just like that, it should emulsify pretty quickly and easily. You don't have to do too much whisking. You have the lemon juice mixed in nicely with the olive oil and the mustard. So with everything complete, we're going to put all of the ingredients in the bowl. Mix this all together. Make sure everything's dressed in the vinaigrette. Make sure that the capers, tarragon, shallot, there's no clumps of you know one ingredient all together. So let's check on our bone marrow. You can see it's changed color. You know, we have a little bit of blood and fat kind of everywhere, which is why you should probably clean it. And you could let this go a little longer, but it's done, it's cooked. So this is how you would serve it. We have our roasted bone marrow, our parsley salad, some salt for sprinkling on the marrow because you know, you can't really season inside the bone. And of course our toast. And what you wanna do is look on which side of the bone has a wider opening. That's gonna be easier to get the marrow out of. I mean, it's really like spreading butter. So after you put the marrow on there, we're gonna sprinkle it with some salt and then our parsley salad on top. One hell of a breakfast, huh guys? At least for me. Mm. 
this is not nearly as heavy or rich as you think it is. If you serve this in a restaurant and people ate it, they would be like, oh my God, what is that? They would have no idea it's bone marrow because marrow, if it's very high quality, if you don't overcook it, has a super mild buttery flavor. So you have the aerated bread, the acidic, flavorful salad on top, and the marrow coats your mouth. And I would say it has even less flavor than butter, but it's very, very nice, delicious appetizer. Would be amazing to have this in a restaurant. Well, thank you guys for joining me. If you want a delicious way to make bone marrow for your friends or family, or just a change of pace for yourself, definitely try this recipe out. You can look up uh, Fergus Henderson's bone marrow and parsley salad online for specific measurements. Outside of that, you guys can go to frankeastrangemeat.com if you want some grass-fed marrow bones. You can also check out frank stefanocom for all of my other businesses. Don't forget to drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.